Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you for the continuation of this minimalist run Let's Play of Final Fantasy X-2. And if you want to know why LeBlanc and her cronies are standing on the deck of our airship, well, there is a reason for that, which will soon be explained. As after we successfully defeated LeBlanc and her crew once and for all, they've decided that they want to team up with us. First things first, we are going to the bell. Full speed ahead! Yeah, the slutty girl in the com ugly kimono is wanting us to go to Bavel. You just wait, Blondie. You know what next? She's off to save Spira, of course. Right. Yeah, LeBlanc has convinced Yuna to All go to back to Bavel because there is something that we have to deal with. Well, we're going to Bavel. There should be lots of spears there, so why don't we hunt for them on the side? <laughs> Yeah, trying to justify her actions. Just admit it, love. You're a goody goody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently so. So, we're going directly to the hotspots, and we cannot cancel out of this. We are now committed to take this to the end of Chapter 2. That Vegna gun is bad news. We better get under Bavel and get to the bottom of this. So, away we go. Yes, we must be on our way. Because, as we found out... So how are we gonna do this? Um... Yeah, that's a good question. We've gotta go deal with the Vegnagun situation. But we yeah, gave them our sphere! And checkmate. Not bad. I got no problem with this! Our target is the new Yevon Praetor! Barreline! A girly man like that doesn't stand a chance without his escort. Well, you two look like girly men. Careful. He's much stronger than he looks. Yeah, there's actually some truth to that. Company. Who goes there? Now, depending on what, who you gave the a sphere to... Oh, the High Summoner! Please, forgive my rudeness. They stand down if you gave the sphere to New Yevon. If you gave the sphere to the new to the youth league, you're gonna spend the entire way going up to the headquarters of New Yevon, fighting off soldiers of New Yevon. So we are now going to infiltrate Bavel, New Yevon's headquarters. Bavel, does Fengnagun sleep deep beneath its streets? Take the lift down and see. And we just so happen to have a bit of assistance from uh, from um the barkeep. Yeah. I was worried about me soon as so I came along. I got items for you. <laughs> yes, indeed he does. So, stuff we can stock up on if I need to, and let's face it, I will definitely need to, especially the Phoenix Downs. If things get really hairy, I'm definitely going to need them. I'm going to stock up on a lot of the main healing items up to 20. At least for now. Um, I'm... Good with holy water being where it is at its current count. And um yeah, we're good with everything else, so yeah, this is fine. So let's go ahead and save. I'm going to also save to my um backup file in case Anything ever goes wrong, and yeah, just by advancing the plot to this extent, we get another increase increase on our percentage. All right, so let's now make our way up. So as I said, if we gave the sphere to the youth league, we're fighting these guys. Thankfully, that's not the case because we gave the sphere to New Yemen. So they're having no problems, just giving us a warm welcome and just letting us do what we need to do. That won't last, though. And w once you get to this point, the U the New Yevon soldiers make a very determined goal line stand. Now, I don't know why I keep saying the term goal line stand when football season ended two weeks ago with the Seahawks winning Super Bowl forty eight. Yeah, speaking of which, yeah, that was a pretty um, that that was a joke of a game. Right from the first snap, that game just avalanched into a nightmare of a game. Not, not the most impressive Super Bowl I've ever seen. And for some reason, my controller wants to keep, keep pushing Yuna to the right. But we want to actually... the right on this. We want to go to the right first. 
because in order to move forward, we need to go this direction. We have to climb over here, activate this pedestal, and that opens up a door for us. So now having activated said door, we can now go back in the opposite direction. So over this way. There are no chests to worry about really, you just do what you gotta do. Excuse me, sir? No, don't mind me, I'm just doing my job as the High Summoner. I pull myself up, and we want to change the position of this lift here. So the central dis lift destination is now altered. It would have taken us up if we didn't change this, but we actually wanted to go downward. So now we go back the way we came. So, excuse me. And now let's step on to the Jeez, elevator. Really a mess, huh? Come on, Payne. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to leave without you. But then, where are LeBlanc and her goons? They came along with us. They're supposed to be following us down here. Well, don't worry, they will. <laughs> They're just going to catch the next lift after us. So yeah, we're back actually where the Bavel Cloister Trials took place. Doing in the, temple. the temples reek of secrets. Don't let a couple of fiends throw you. Yeah, it'll, it'll be all good. Yeah, there isn't that much in terms of fighting fiends around here, but there are there are a few treasure chests, and most of the fiends that you fight will just pop out of nowhere. They're not random encounters situations. Alright, I want to start by taking out these skinks. Um, go back to White Mage for Yuna. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the Flan Blanco all that much. We'll be just fine. Alright, so, we'll just keep on attacking the skinks until we eliminate them. So, just keep on pounding away on these butt ugly lizards. They do have quite a bit of HP, but in terms of damage, they're not all that devastating. Even though they do um, inflict poison on you, but that's why we took um, some more antidotes before we came down here. And besides, the prey ability does more than enough to cancel out any poison damage that may be inflicted on us. So there's not that much of a reason to be worried. And the Flan Blanco is defeated. So yeah, this is a good place for the experience levels to get quite a bit of a jump. So obviously we want to heal now on the antidote. I want to sort these items. Well, okay. Alright. Now, there's nothing really to the right, so we want to go left. And besides, since this is a minimalist one, we basically want to stay on the straight and narrow. So now we got a flying eyeball to deal with. Two of them, to be exact. So let's go ahead and knock them down. Now, Lingering Gaze will slow down a character down. But our attacks are so devastating and strong enough that it's not really that much of a worry that I don't have haste. Um, it doesn't really worry me all that much. Right. Yeah, there it goes. A bit of a delay on the kill there. Riku did recognize the kill, but it took a while for it to be recognized, but we did get our first kill. Uh, pointless means that um, Unit will not get any experience points from this battle. And this should be demonstrated here, so Yuna's it. Oh, she did score! Okay. Strange, I thought for some reason that Pointless um, takes away your ability to gain experience. Um, I guess I want to use Holy Water. Uh, I guess she probably got credit for um, the first kill, but not the second. Alright, up we go. 
going up the steep slope of the Bavel Cloister Trials. We want to take a right here and take the two treasure chests. First one containing eight potions. And on the opposite side, second one contains four Phoenix Downs. Now we're definitely getting a lot of potions out of this. Um, yeah, in fact, we're almost maxed out. Might as well use them. Yeah, we're getting so many. And you may have noticed, there's a lizard above us, and so it's going to proceed to attack us. And two more of the skinks to deal with. So let's go ahead and chop them up. Chop them up and make an example out of them. And there's the poison fang. But nothing we can't handle. And Riku gets the magic break ability. And now we can focus on skink number two. <laughs> now, good thing it's called a skink and not a skank. But for that matter, my all-time favorite song by Fatboy Slim is called the Rockefeller Skank. So, yeah, it's the one that goes, The Rock, the Fung Soul Brother, check it out now! Yeah, that, that's a fun song. I really enjoy that one. So, I guess we have to heal both Pain and Riku this turn, as Yuna now joins the other girls at 16. In fact, I'd say she's actually catching up to them. Alright, antidotes. One and two. And since we have more than 90 potions, might as well use them. Every point counts. Alright, going to the right. And taking the next elevator. And we continue on. Now, was there a chest over here? No. For some reason, I thought there was. But no, we want to come this direction. So, we've reached what I guess you could call the midway point, but... Yeah, this is actually the last save sphere for the entire chapter. The... When we continue along, we are going to run into a lot of difficult opponents where we have no usage of a save sphere. So this is pretty much the point of no return at this point. So I know this video is going to be a bit short, but we are going to save the game because where we go next will take quite a while to complete. So be back in a moment after a quick timeout.